Hello Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 for your monthly reading for the month of January 2018. Either you have a good month so far for the month of December 2017. And you have I hope that you have a good year so far as well. So let's see what is in store for you for next month of January. So the first card for you representing the beginning of the month, you have the king of spade so towards the beginning of the month it looks like or towards the present or towards the beginning of the month you have this card indicates that there will be a male significant figure in your life from the air sign that has been maybe contacting you in the past and this card can also be your boss or can also be your uh, manager or your supervisor or can also be your uh, your partner or it can also be your co-worker that tried to help you in the past and in the beginning of the month of January you, you will have like a very close contact with this king possibly because of the project that has been going on possibly uh, that you are working for this king of spade and it looks like you may have to possibly like like uh, <clears throat> working very closely with this king towards the beginning until the middle of the month it looks like this king can be a little bit um, critical or highly critical of you in some way like he know whatever your move are, you know, like you are, you, you don't really cannot hide anything possibly from this king, because this king can know every moves that you have, and so just be careful of this king of spade, by the way, because this king of spade, I think it looks like has been coming up for December as well. <clears throat> it looks like this king is watching you. And in the beginning of the month, again, this king will be very significant, possibly to to possibly to verify your your work or possibly to verify your results if you like doing something uh, like research or like doing uh, work that you do. You just have to submit it to this king, and this king will check it for you, and this king will see every details that has been there with regards to your work so try to be honest with this king so the next card that you have representing the uh, the middle towards the middle of the month or the bridge card or the influence card you have the ten of club so yeah for some of you this king can be uh, quite a training for you as well because this king will give you more and more responsibility towards your career but I don't see it that you are complaining about it because possibly you you already know what you sign up for in the beginning of the month or in the beginning of your career for instance when you hire with this when you are hired by this king of spade and it looks like this king of spade giving you a lot of more responsibility possibly because you have done a good job it doesn't mean that you did a bad job or something but it, it looks like you have done a good job and that's why you you get more you get more responsibility for for your work because you have got everything done so again it doesn't mean bad things to, to get more responsibility but it, it does mean that you will have more work to do but yeah I think some of you may feel a bit draining as well like this is uh, this could indicate that you are feeling bogged down and you're feeling tired as well with whatever you have done and what you have you are doing actually and it looks like you want to just chill out and have a like break as well but unfortunately this card indicates no you can't have a break
so the thing is that you just have to do it because this is your responsibility and you just have to, to deal with that and the good news is that you don't have any problem with this king of spade and, and try to be honest by the way so the next card that you have representing the past position of your reading is that the two of diamond so again even if in the month of december or even in the past few year a uh, few months it looks like you have a lot of things that you have to juggle in your life possibly in your career life and this card indicates strongly in the past that you have things to do you never get a like break <laughs> like like something that you really want to do for a long time but you just can't so in the past you have a lot of things that happen possibly because of your job or because of your work you are very busy and you try to juggle everything that you can in order to to to, to satisfy all parties here for some of you it doesn't apply for everyone but for some of you who has been looking for a new job in the past maybe you have been presented with the options here or with the choice that you have uh, by possibly you you move to this company a or company b in, in this case and you try to, to to find out which one has better value or which one has better uh, stuff that you may be able to to acquire like something that you want to have possibly in terms of the salary possibly also in terms of the way the work is for instance how much responsibility that this company will give you or how much your your boss will trust that you and those type of things that may come out in the past for some of you who are been who have been looking for a new job or even like how valuable this company will be for the next few years and that's something like the projection that you have uh, really uh, you really think about it and the next card is you have representing the uh, things that you learned from the past you have the six of heart so again this will not apply for everyone but for some of you who possibly have been going back to your hometown or to to your parents or to your childhood memories for instance if you go back to your whatever uh, place that you l used to live in the past and this kind of memory that has uh, been going on in the past is returning back in your life and you just want to you know enjoy the moment when you were kids or when you were uh, you were working in the past and those type of things that giving you a lot of like joyful memories or hopeful type of you know feeling as well so this card indicates strongly that you will have that as well in the past and you learn a lot from those happy maybe some of them may not be so happy but you learn the you know like you reminded yourself about the memory from the past that teach you a lot of things either good or bad so the next thing that you have representing the things that you need to let go from the past you have the jack of club so this kind of indicates that in the past you have something like new ideas or uh, like new ventures that you have you know you just want to do but it, it never materialized because you don't have time to do it so there's something the same thing here you may be juggling with that kind of a new idea of new ventures but you still have your nine to five jobs and then you still have to do those type of requests from this queen king of spade and in the end you don't have time for your ideas and this is the time for you to let go you know there is nothing more frustrating than holding on to your ideas but never really doing it and the best thing is just let it go 
there is no point of holding the idea as long as you don't even want to materialize or doing that idea or implement those ideas so that is something that you wanna you know pay attention on so the next card that you have representing the future card also at the end of the month you have the eight of heart so this eight of heart representing the in the end you finally move on to a better place so something that has not been working out in your favor you finally say bye so everything will be okay but the thing is that you just want to leave the whole situation that has not been working out it doesn't mean that you quit your job though it doesn't mean that way because it can also be like like if you go for few weeks let's say break away from your uh, like day-to-day -day life just like take one week off that can also be a, the case here uh, other than that for some of you who are, have been thinking to really start your new own company and you finally want to leave your job then this is also a card for you that representing that but it doesn't mean that all all of you will will just quit your job no because some of you may be very like really like the way you are doing like the way the way the job that are that you are doing right now <clears throat> so the next card that you have or the last card actually to clarify the whole things you have at the bottom of the deck you have the ten of heart so this ten of heart indicates strongly that you will have a very uh, beautiful and happy relationship in the month of January it's either in your jobs or it is even either in your personal life but the thing is that there will be no significant challenges that may help or that may make you a little bit harsh on yourself in the month of January the work will be there for you the same like this uh, this uh, ten of clubs indicates but there will be no significant like troubles that you will face in the month of January it looks like everything will be okay but the thing is that you still need to do the work and the thing is that you still have to to deal with everything even if you have to like even if like let's say if you if you plan for vacation for a week off for instance you still need to to finish your job for that week so that the following week you can go for your holiday or for your one week off and that's something that you need to do as well and that's the reason why this card is coming towards the middle of the month possibly you want to get away in the by the end of the month even if you just want to to go back to your hometown forcibly let's say if you live in different city or even if you live in different countries and you still have to to you know to to be responsible to do your job before you leave and present it to your supervisor or your boss so i think that's quite a good kind of readings here it doesn't have like negative feeling at all but the thing is that you need yes yeah, you still have to do the work possibly because of the Saturn move to your sign as well uh, in the I think it was in the 22nd of December uh, if I'm not wrong and that will bring you until the end of the 2020s as well so try to be uh, you know to, to keep on going with what you have and try to be diligent and patient about whatever you have going on in your life. So I hope that this reading is helpful and if you like the reading and just click like and if you haven't subscribed already just click subscribe and wish you a very good year in 2018. See you next month.